Hey guys, and welcome to this video. Um, I'm gonna be doing my CD collection. Um, this has been requested a few times, so I decided to do it. Um, I know a lot of people have been asking for a full vinyl collection. Um, I have over 650 records, so it's gonna take a very long time. Um, I know uh, the video is gonna be at least two hours long. Um, so I'm kind of pushing it back. Um, I know people wanted to ask to just to like post them in separate videos or whatever, like in different parts. Um, I don't want to do that. Um, I think once I do film it, it's just going to be like a two hour long video on my YouTube channel. Um, but I kind of want to film it in front of the camera and with a nice camera. So I really hope to have that up sometime during the summertime next year. Um, I know it's a long way to go, but um, I'm gonna try to aim to do it before that. Um, but um, yeah, but in the meantime, you can see some of my vinyl collection on my um, Instagram at Course Vinyl. Um, I post my vinyl collection on there. And sometimes on my story, I answer a, have a story where you guys can ask me questions and I post them. Um, so if you guys are interested, follow me on there. Um, and also on TikTok, I just started TikTok and I'm gonna be posting TikToks on my vinyl collection as well and spinning them. Um, so if you guys wanna watch my TikToks, it's um, AD Stommer. Um, both of them, my Instagram and my TikTok are linked below if you guys are interested and follow me on those platforms. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and get started with with my CD collection. So I have Justin Bieber and Ariana Grande stick with you, which are signed by them. Um, obviously not, they're auto pen Sally. So yeah, I ordered four copies and then these actually contain the CD in them and these don't, and these are just uh, signed ones or whatever. Then I have um, Conan Gray. Uh, Maniac. So, um, I have this many copies. Um, one of them is signed, so this one contains actual this, and the other one doesn't. And I have two more because um, I bought tickets to a show, and they came with CDs with those. Um, I have two copies of this record store day thing, uh, which you get when you go to record store day. So I ended up getting those for free. And I have I think in summer teeth CD single. Um, I have Past Life by Selena Gomez and Trevor Daniel. Um, these were on Selena web store for a while, and they were free. Um, you just pay for shipping, so I ended up getting that. I have this. Uh, I'm not sure how I got this, um, but it's fine. But yeah, I don't know. It's inside my CD collection somehow. Uh, moving along, I have Iggy Azalea in my defense, which is signed by Iggy, as you guys can see on there. This is a great album. I really think it's one of her best works, and I really enjoyed the album. So, yeah. I know a lot of people don't like her, but I really love her. Then I have Poppy and My Girl, and it's signed by Poppy, as you can see there. Um, I got this on tour when I went to see her live on the My Girl tour. Um, they had these on sale on her merch booth and I ended up buying one. And they also had signed vinyl and I have a signed vinyl by Poppy as well. Um, as you can see my CD collection is not organized at all. But um, sorry, so it's all over the place. Um, I have Bridget Miller Nemesis and this is signed by Bridget as you can see this is an amazing ep and i really wish it was on vinyl because it's so good and i really did recommend you guys check this ep out because it's so 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 good each song on here is amazing and i feel like everyone should listen to this because it's so so good um i have lana de rey norman franco rockwell and this is the uncensored version so yeah and yeah, I have that. I have Birds of Prey, um, the album, movie soundtrack. 
I really love this movie and the soundtrack is amazing as well. Then I have three copies of Ariana Grande Boyfriend. Um, the reason I have three is because for one of them, it was listed before the other two. Uh, and then when the other two were posted, they came with these trading cards, um, which I thought was pretty cool. And I only got um, the, them two. So, yeah. And I have, oops, okay, that's not cool. I have The Comet Angel by Erin Grande, Miles Harris, and Lana Dray. Um, I really love this song. I know people don't, but I really like it for some reason. So, yeah. I have three copies of Shawn Mendes, um, If I Can't Have You. I think I can see they're slightly different. This one is blue, this one is yellow, and this one is pink. And they all come with a different voice memo, so that's why I own those. I have Shawn Mendes and Camila Cabello Senorita um, CD single. I have Lady Gaga Chromatica, which is signed by Lady Gaga. Um, this is a great album and it's in my top 10 of this year. It is a really great album. Then I have Tim Lovato, I Love Me, um, CD single, which is the original cover. And I have a signed copy here, which is signed by her, obviously signed, and a different cover to that. Move these away. I have Camila, Camila Cabello Romance, and it's signed by Camila down there and yeah, we have that. Then I have Dua Lipa Future Nostalgia, which was released this year and it's in my top 10 of albums that was released this year. It's a really great album and this is in the jewel case format. Uh, a lot of people ask me where I got this version because I'm pretty sure the digital, the digi pack is the one that's most available, but I think I got this from her web store with a vinyl bundle that I ended up getting, so yeah. I didn't have Justin Bieber changes. Um, I don't care what anyone says, this is a great album. Um, I really love this album and it's definitely in my top five that was released this year. Um, I know a lot of people would disagree with me on that because they hate Justin Bieber for whatever the reason. Um, well, I know why, <laughs> but um, I don't know, I love his voice and I always loved him, um, so I thought it was a great album, but whatever. I have Today's With Me, the Billboard, Billboard Music Awards um, live rehearsal audio. And I have Ming Trainer, Treat Myself, which is signed by Megan herself. Um, this is a really great album and it's definitely in my top 10 this year. I have Mano Martinez K-12 and I have two copies on the Joe Case version. Um, I love this album and it was definitely my favorite album that was released last year. Um, Mano Martinez is my favorite artist of all time. And then I have three more copies of K-12 but this is the DVD and CD version. So you get the actual um, album inside here on the top flap so here's the album and it has its flip thing which is cool and then you get the booklet inside here with that and then you get the movie that she made for the album um and this side um on dvd sally i wish you released a blu-ray copy because it would just look better than a DVD copy, but whatever. Um, I have Camila Cabello Romance, and these are different covers um, that she ended up releasing. I love this cover. I wish it was the official cover, but I feel like any of these covers are better than the original one, to be honest. And then each one came with a signed booklet. I might get rid of them or give them away or sell them because i really don't need this many copies especially since i already have um one of them in the jewel case um i wish she signed this cover like on the actual jacket here for each one but she didn't they just gave us that sadly 
But um, I guess it's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that here. Okay, so I have Kitty Perry Smile and this one is sealed. And I have two more copies and these are signed by Kitty Perry. As you guys can see there. I really love Kitty's signature and I love this album and it's definitely in my top 10. It's a great album. Um, then I have the fan edition and you can find these unboxings on my YouTube channel. But there you can see they change covers. Which is cool. Then I have the different covers that she released for Smile. Um, this one's my favorite one right here and this one was made by a fan. Um, but all of these are really pretty and I really love them all. Yeah. Uh, moving on, I have Sam Smith Loves Ghosts and this one is signed by Sam Smith. And I have Ariana Grande Positions and it's signed by her. And I have another copy of the original cover, but this one's not signed, obviously. Then I have this cover and this cover, which is my favorite one. Then we have Iggy Azalea Dance Like Nobody's Watching CD single. I really love this song, and it is signed by Iggy on the back. I wish she signed the front, but she didn't, but whatever. Then I have In, In a Dream by Troy Savon, and this is a signed CD, which is cool. So I have those. So moving on to Taylor Swift, um, Folklore CDs. I have this cover, which I love this cover. I think it's my favorite one. Then you have this one. Um, each one has a different cover and um, each one has a different booklet inside with different photos and stuff. Um, if you guys are interested in that, I do have um, uh, unboxing for every single one of these on my YouTube channel on separate videos since they all have different booklets. If you guys are wondering, you gotta check it out there. Then we have the standard original cover, which I think the original cover is obviously the best one. And I have a signed copy here, which I bought from her web store, which is really nice. Um, yeah. I have Justin Bieber Lonely. Um, this is a great song and I had two copies because these were limited edition and I just like getting so copies on limited edition items if I can. I have Ariana Grande Position, the CD single and I thought I ordered two of these but apparently I didn't. I really wish I did especially because this one came cracked but it's fine and I love this cover more than the album cover. Um, then we have Sasha Sloan Only Child and this one is signed by her. Um, I didn't really enjoy this project. Um, there's some good songs on here, but I just enjoyed her EPs better than this, uh, sadly, but it's okay. It's not a bad album, but it's just a letdown compared to her EPs. Um, then I have Taylor Swift Folklore and this one is also a signed by a signed CD. Um, as you can see there, but it's sealed this time. Um, I have another one because I ordered the blanket. Um, that was limited edition and they sent these out for free because they were taking very long to get them to us and I still haven't received it and it's been months. So they sent us these, which it's okay, I already own one, but I wish they would just give us the blankets. And then I have Shawn Mendes Wonder. These are the CD single so there's only one around here um and again i just have a sealed one because it was limited edition and i just like having them sealed um i have hazy uh, manic and i had two of these because this one was signed it doesn't have the actual disc in it but the other one does i have kesha high road um this was an okay album i just felt like it was a huge letdown to be honest this is my f least favorite album by Kesha. Um, it's kind of forgettable to be honest. I haven't listened to it since it's released really. So I might give it another chance and maybe I will enjoy it more now. But it was a huge letdown for me at least. Um, but let me know what you guys think of the album. 
Then I have um, Azalea Banks' I See Colors Change. Um, it's not a great EP, but I do love her albums and her mixtapes, but this was not it, but I do own it on CD. Cause I think it was like a dollar or something. Um, I have Harry Styles' Fine Line. This is a great album by Harry and I really love him. I have Iggy Azalea uh, Wicalypse, which is signed by Iggy. As you can see on the back there, um, I wish she signed the front instead of the back because it just doesn't make much sense to sign the back because I like to display my sign items and it would just make sense to sign the front, but it's whatever, I guess. Then I have two copies of Dua Lipa Future Nostalgia. These are the Digipacks, which I have two because I ordered one and then I think the other one came with a um, bundle or something. Um, I have Lady Gaga's Stupid Love um, CD single. I have Taylor Swift um, Cardigan CD single with um, a voice memo. And I have Shawn Mendes Wonder, which is signed by Shawn. I think you can see it there. And then we have Taylor Swift's newest record, which is Evermore. This is a really great album. I'm not really sure if I enjoyed this more. Or for Chlore, they're both really great. Um, I think I might lean leaning more to this one to be better. Um, not sure. Let me know what you guys enjoy more for Chlore or Evermore. Then we have um, Justin Bieber and Shawn Mendes for Monster Club that they did. This is a Sydney single, and I have two of them. One of them is sealed. Um, and they have this cover. They also released this cover. And they also released this cover for the CDs. I uh, have Shawn Mendes Wonder um, again and these are the alternative artwork that he released on his web store. I think it did this one wrong because it's backwards and all of them are this way so that's cool I guess. Um, then I have five copies of Shawn Mendes Wonder. I have a lot of copies of this album. The reason I have five copies of this version is because there were five different card packs. So each one comes with card packs and a signed card as you can see there. I do have an unboxing video of all of these in one video if you guys want to check that out and see all of the different card packs that he released for these. Um, in my YouTube channel somewhere. Then I have Slater, um, her mixtape self title and it's signed by her, I think you can see there. This is a really great um, pop uh, mixtape, it's very early 2000 vibes and Britney Spears vibe I would say. And it's a really great uh, mixtape and I really wish I had this on vinyl. Um, it sold out on vinyl so I had to pay like, I'm planning on ordering one from Discogs. And they're going for like around eighty dollars, which kind of sucks. But I really need this on my own, so I'll probably pick that up eventually. Then I have Young Blood Weird, and it's signed by him. As you can see there, it's a great album. It's not my favorite, but it is great. Um, I have Ava Max, um, Heaven and Hell. This is a signed copy, as you can see here. The only thing I hate is that it's way smaller than the actual booklet. I wish they were the same size so it would look better and not this stupid but I guess it's fine. <laughs> I have two copies of Justin Bieber Holy. Um, I have a signed one and an open one. This is one of my favorite songs that was released this year. I think it's a great song um, and I love Justin Bieber like I said. I know a lot of people don't but I do. <laughs> Um, I have Black Bear, Everything Means Nothing on CD and it's signed by him. This is a really great album. It's definitely different from his rest of his discography, but it's a really great um, pop rap record um, in my opinion. I have Miley Cyrus Plastic Heart, which is definitely in my top three albums that was released this year. It's really, really great. Um, I do have the black and white one and the color version. These are still sealed because I'm waiting on getting the regular cover to come in. So I could film an unboxing video for these. But I really love this cover. This one's my favorite, the color version. And I have another copy of Ava Max um, CD. Um, this one is sealed because I ordered this one with a signed 
um, little poster thing. Um, so yeah, it just came with it. So yeah, there's that. And then I have Demi Lovato, Tummy Love Me, and it's signed by Demi herself on there. I have another copy. Then I have the Deluxe Edition. Uh, this one is actually the Target version. And I have another seal copy of the Center Edition. Another one. And then I have two more copies of the Target versions and just the regular deluxe version. Um, the reason I have so many copies of this record is because Demi Lovato is my, in my top three favorite artists of all time. And I just wanted to support her during this time. So yeah. I have Marina the Diamonds um, Prima Donna CD single, which is fun. And I really love when they package CD singles like this, because I just think they're really cool and nice, nicer to be honest. Then I have Miley Cyrus' We Can't Stop CD single. Again, it's packaged this way, which is my favorite. I have Megan Trainer. Thank You. Um, I love Megan Trainer, and this is a really great album as well. I have Lana Del Rey, Ultra Finance. Paramore, Subtitle. One Direction, Midnight Memories. Um, the Chainsmokers, Memories Are Now Open. I don't really listen to the Chainsmokers anymore, but I used to listen to them a lot. Um, that's why I own it, but I don't listen to them anymore. And I have two copies of the Movado, don't forget. I think because I, this is cracked, so I ended up ordering another one. Um, I have Megan Trainer titled the EP, and then I have the actual album here. Um, they have the same tracks but this is the actual full album. I have Lord uh, Melodrama, Melo Martinez Crybaby on two case. Um, Selena Gomez Revival in this version. I have Demi Lovato and Luis Flancy, um, Echimela Cupa. This is a really great Spanish song and I really love it a lot. I have Lady Gaga and Ariana Grande Rain On Me CD single. Um, then I have six copies of Witness by Katy Perry and the reason I have this many copies, I did not, I did buy them up, but um, they were, I went on eBay and I was looking around on the CDs and there was a seller there selling six copies of Witness for $5, like really? So I bought it and I pay five dollars for all of these together, which is so crazy. So yeah, that's why I have so many copies of Witness. Uh Bastel Babla. This is one of the first CDs I ever bought. And I really want to get this on vinyl because it's a really great album. I have Lord Per Heroin. This is the second CD I ever bought in. And um it's a great album. I love Lord. And I have Art and Monkeys AM. Um this is really beaten up. Um, this is the first CD I ever bought, really. Um, that's why it's such an shitty condition. Um, I have Billie Eilish, um, Dos Mawa I mean, the Japanese version, which is really cool. I have Choice of One Wild um, EP here. I have Poppy That Computer um, by Poppy. I really love this album. Um, I have Dua Lipa New Rules, again, the same format for the CD single, which I love a lot. And I have two copies of Sweeter by Rene Garnet. One of them is the clean one, and clean version, and the other one is the scripted version. I think you can see, this one has that, and that one does that. So, yeah. I have Lana Del Rey, Born to Die. Similar Unbroken. I'm so glad this is finally getting pressed on vinyl by Renard Fetters. I really love this album. I have Halsey Balance. The uh, Movado Confident. And Lana Del Rey Lust for Life. Okay, so we're almost done here. Um, this is my last stack to show you guys. And this video is way too long. 
but I have Charlie XCX Sucker. A lot of people don't like this album, but I think it's a great album. I have an Omar Fucker Rockwell album on the right, and this is the Sensei version on the title there only. Uh, that's just like the Target version. Um, then I have um, Break the Rules by Charlie XCX. Really great, this CD is broken. Um, I have Camila Cabello uh, self title and a sign by her. I have Taylor Swift Lover CD single, not single, but the actual album, but it's signed by Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift Me, and I have a still copy of that. Ariana Grande Thank You Next, and I have a still one. And I have Troy Sivan Bloom. I have two copies because I bought tickets to his tour and they sent them out with the tickets. I have Rex Orange County Pony. This is still sealed. Um, I ordered the vinyl on Amazon and they sent me the CD instead and I was going to return it. Then I totally forgot so I overpaid for this which is slightly annoying but it's whatever. I still want to get on vinyl uh, but whatever. I have Billie Eilish, um, when, all, when We All Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go? This is the Japanese edition. Then we have the standard CD. Two more copies of that. Um, yeah. I'm not sure if this came with the tickets that I bought for a tour. I don't think so, but maybe they did. I don't know. Then I have two Target exclusives, and I have the box set. Of it. Um, the reason I have so many copies of this again, I just wanted to support her since I've been following her since she wasn't a big artist, she was a smaller artist back then. Um, so I just wanted to support her, so that's why I have so many copies of that. I then have Katy Perry Chain to the Rhythm CD single, Demi Lovato Here We Go Again. Miley Cyrus Singer Now. I know people don't like this album, but I really like it. I think it's a really great album by Miley Cyrus. Then you have Kesha Rainbow. I think this is one of her best works. Um, it's really amazing. Oops. And it was... Yeah, I just really love this one. Uh, Melanie Martinez Crybaby. This is the storybook version. And it's signed by Melanie Martinez. I have Five Seconds of Summer, she looks a perfect EP, um, and it's broken, but it comes with stickers. <laughs> yeah, of course it's broken. I got this a couple years ago. Anyways, I have the Ray Born to Die, and this is a deluxe edition, the other one was just a standard version. I have a sun copy of Selena Gomez Rare. Ariana Grande, uh, the remix, Japanese edition. Harry Styles subtitle and I have Terry Swift um, reputation and this box thingy it's kind of hard to take out um, and then I got two more because these came inside the magazines that were exclusive to Target so I do have the magazines with me I have Troy Savon Troy EP and I love every single song on here and I really wish you press this EP on vinyl because these sound really good I have Charlie XCX True Romance, Halsey Room 93, and um, Conan Gray Sunset Season, which I got these um, sent to me because I bought tickets to his tour. So, his first tour they did. I love this EP a lot. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that was my full CD collection. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, let me know which was your favorite. Um, yeah. Um, also, again, my vinyl Instagram is linked below or just looked up cor Corpse Vinyl. Um, I post my vinyl collection on there. And also on TikTok, um, it's 80 Stomer, and I'm starting to post vinyl TikToks on there if you guys are interested. Um, and yeah. Let me know what's your favorite album that was released this year, um, and which was your favorite CD that I own, um, and that's it, um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next unboxing video, where I'm not talking, <laughs> um, okay, bye guys.